not ideal, Sierra. Look at look at Daddy's hair. Daddy's hair is all crazy. And today, one of our neighbors, who happens to be, she went to beauty school, I think, actually. The hairdresser. Uh, Jara, and she's gonna give me a haircut today. So that's what I've got scheduled. I've got a haircut appointment uh, at 12:25, so I'm to go into the beach at 12:25, and um, gonna get all styled up. So this is something you do, Sierra, when you go get a haircut because you don't want to have bad breath for the nice person that's cutting your hair. That's a life lesson. The yacht club is just growing and growing and growing. Like it's like a proper beach club now. There's a solar panel and chairs and toys and buckets and hello. There's no line. I'm here for the uh, for my 12:25 appointment. I'm Jara. And your boat name? From Zinzi. And what are you doing here? We are giving you guys haircuts today. We've made the rounds for our little Ragged Island community, so it's your turn. Okay, so the last time I got a haircut, oh, yeah. uh, it was Kaza in the BVI's during a windstorm, so that you're gonna find some pieces that are <laughs> oddly shaped and or longer than the other ones. But I think we're going for like a... Yeah, how short do you wanna go? I don't know, what are you thinking, like summer dude? Yeah, Get ready for the will, summer? Maybe. This is legit too, with the whole robe thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have a holster with your tools in it? No. No, oh. I don't. Well, I have my apron though, yeah. Ha! Ah, feels amazing. Yeah. Do I look sharp? Yeah. Wow. I meant to go for like captainy, but it's more corporate. No. Really? <laughs> Oh, what do you what do you accept as payment for a corporate cut? <laughs> We're on the bartering system now, so I propose we do a load of laundry, like sheets and towels. I would absolutely is that enough? Love to do a load of laundry. It's okay. the little things. It's yeah. Little things. So we'll do laundry for you in awesome. exchange. Well, that's a pretty good haircut service, huh? Can't beat the location. Salon wasn't busy. I'd definitely give it five stars. This is the story of Delos a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Yeah. Well, wow, we have so many helpers out here. It's all my it keeps growing. Too, huh? <laughs> For some reason, it's easier just to work in somebody else's boat. Because at the end of the day, we leave and it's fun our hands are, somebody else's boat. Our hands are done with it. It's like this project doesn't live on. So yeah, Brian probably likes to get the help too. <laughs> We've been uh, procrastinating this one for a while. Huh? I know, but she's starting to she's starting to get like really movementy. Yeah. She's starting to walk, basically. Yeah. I don't want to take any chances with the nugs, you know? Mm -hmm. Big nugs. Sierra's helping. Are you helping? Well, with three, four people helping me, it's a lot easier. What's, what's been the hardest part? I think thinking it through about how we wanted to do it was the hardest part. When once we got figured out we wanted to run it on the inside and how we wanted to handle like you know, going over stuff like this, and it became pretty, pretty straightforward. Nice. Yeah. It's a good project done. This huh? side's almost done. Wow. But it's really cool. Uh, when the community comes together and a lot of good things are getting done very fast. Yeah, Brian has a pork loin going in the pressure cooker. So it's going to be like a Sunday roast and we're going to give the lovely people, our lovely neighbors that helped us with this project, 
a little bit of dinner. Yeah. Quarantine crew. What? She got what? Up. <laughs> really? Good morning. It is another beautiful day. And uh, our little group is anchored out here, all of our friends. It's just so special to have this little social bubble out here and people that we can hang out with without worrying about virus or contamination or anything like that. You know, we kind of made like a little pact, I guess, <laughs> with that we are gonna stay safe for each other. So if you do meet somebody else, you will take the right safety precautions, you know, wear a mask, gloves, all of that. But with each other, we can be safe. And that feels extremely special. I, know, I was just thinking today about all the skills that we have here, you know, from all different walks and of life and backgrounds of life. And, you know, people that have had professional careers, people that have been hairstylists, people that have been in the military, um, people that, you know, can fix freezers and know about salvage operations from their previous businesses. Um, it's just very cool. And so pretty much anything that we need to do or sort out or figure out or fix on the boat or borrow, like somebody has you covered. It's just amazing how a group of people can like pretty much fix anything and everybody pitches in and really pulls through when something goes wrong for somebody. And all we gotta do is we put a call out on a VHS 69. That's like our kind of like hailing channel for the group, the, the pleasure channel. And it's like a big party line and everybody just talks on that when they need something. And uh, I'd say nine times out of 10, somebody will have uh, what you need or be willing to come up and uh, help you out. Yeah, super lucky, super fortunate and I love this group of people, they're amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought <laughs> I don't want to bring sharks around us. Hello! I'm here! <laughs> huh? How was it? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah? So nice to get in the water a little bit. It's so freaking hot. I know. How is the nugget? I just put her down okay. like about five minutes ago. Nice. We got invited to go into the yacht club for dinner this evening. Uh, some of the guys caught some fish and some conch, and so they're going to be cooking that up, and we're going to bring coleslaw. We're going to have like a beach uh, cookout slash picnic. Yeah. It's so cool to be able to do this, and everybody like brings something, right? Yeah, it's really nice. Super cool group of people. And I read about it online, and now people are referring it to as a social bubble. So if you have a group of people that you trust, Ooh and that you know that they have been either isolated or you know where they've been for a certain period of time then countries that are doing well uh, are allowing you to go out and like hang out with your social bubble. I think New Zealand is doing it hmm. now and a few other places. Social so we bubble? have a social bubble. <laughs> like right out here. Yeah, well. it's right out there. It's a pretty legit yacht club, I would say. Yeah. 
go and do the yacht club. Oh, you guys added decorations. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Welcome to the yacht club. Thank you, thank you. How's everybody doing? Good, how are you? Hey. This fine evening? Yeah. Great, how are you? Good, good, good. We're getting our cooking fire warmed up. Yes. <laughs> okay, sorry. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! Oh yeah! Yeah! Get a sizzling! The rough side of an island. This is conch, conch salad. Conch salad? Have you had conch chowder? These are conch fritters. These are conch fritters. Somebody made uh, biscuits for us. Oh wow! wow. What you got in here, Connor? What'd Only you the best of the highest best, quality, the highest quality locally caught conch. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, I put them on the table already. That's awesome, Rube. Yeah, the states are one. I haven't caught any state. I've experienced it a few times in my life, and this is one of those rare moments where you do get. A whole bunch of people that all just click and everybody's like you say they've got the skills and stuff and, and to have this in such an amazing place at this crazy time I think we're very lucky <laughs> Pretty good at that. <laughs> so much good food. And now we're gonna have a little fire and just sit and relax with friends. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> What are you all dressed up for today? <laughs> so we're having another weekend to TD Yacht Club Monster Mash and it's organized by Connor I think so this will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think people are starting to have a little bit of time on their hands yeah. and just coming up with like creative ways to film it. I've got mine. Mine says, look at the back of mine. We need one for Sierra. Just I say know. like little nugget. <laughs> little nugget. <laughs> Do you want one? So yeah, there's going to be games and events and activities. Well, welcome everyone to this year's, this week's Monster Mash. We thought we'd dedicate this Monster Mash to the importance of water. So, the overarching goal here, of the entire today's activities, is to preserve your team's water. So you're going to start by filling buckets with water, then each, through the, each competition round, you're, if, depending on how you do on each miniature round, you'll lose water depending on how poorly you do. So. First place gets one cup of water moved from their bucket. Second place, two cups. Third place, three cups. Oh. A little bit of myself is dying right now. Yeah. So we're going to start off by collecting said water with the dinghies. So we, each team gets one of these small ribs that are close by shore here. We're paddling from here out to that ring that's right offshore here. And you fill your bucket in the middle of that ring. On your mark, get ready, and go! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, Grace, now you're our blocker. Okay. <laughs> Just keep going. It's close! Okay! 
Whoever gets you, whoever gets you. Number one. Yes. We got out ahead, we got out ahead, and we kept the lead. It was pretty good. How'd you guys do, Kaza? We came last. <laughs> It was a little rough there in the beginning. Yeah. My contact was popped out. I was like, we can't see anything. Penalty glasses. Oh. I think the judge is impartial. Oh. 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 All right. <laughs> so your teams will be lined up in the water. Three people will be standing with your legs apart. And the fourth teammate is going to swim underneath your legs. That's why you wore the Speedo, huh? <laughs> Free moving! Oh. And you're going to go from this pole on this corner, along the shallows, all the way across to this pole, and back. What? Back. At the same time? Was it, was it, was it back? Yeah, I, I think one time is that's, that's good enough. Time. Yeah. Half hour pop. That's like the swim to the boat. Yeah. Let's do it once. Okay, we'll do one. one that's one oh, last. Connor, you're weak! You gave in! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Like you can't for the peas, everybody. <laughs> On your mark! Get set! Go! 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 So everybody gather in so you can hear. Are we ready? Ready. Bucket on the power board. Yep. Which team has Jera again? We do. And who gets the really fast what? board? That's a I'm out here and, and like as always it's been the people uh, that have made the place so special and uh, I've cherished like our time and our relationships here and when we leave I'm going to miss everybody so so much um, 
I've often felt that when you're cruising and like the time is compressed so much and you know months can feel like weeks and and it's uh, you know the, the, the experiences that you that you have together are very intense because you're doing fun things and you're spending all your time together and I often think it's like it's like the last part of your senior year in high school you know everybody's like together everybody's uh, moving along the same path and like doing all these fun things and spending time together and going out and having parties and going to the beach and sailing and all the stuff is going on and then one day it's all over and everybody sort of sails their own separate ways um so that's the part that i'm not looking forward to but uh i feel very fortunate that, that we've had this time and um yeah it's 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 really quite unlike anything i've ever experienced good effort good effort thank you thank you good job good job yeah. good job we didn't do as good as that as i thought we would i really thought we'd do better given that we planned it and practiced it <laughs> up next we take the group scuba diving i feel so stoked about this We prepare a big birthday party. <laughs> and make unexpected contact with a mysterious place. How's the column on the radio? Hey, my name's Connor, and we are. Well, do you want. How can I blow it already? You're All right. Really Right, my, my favorite one so far has been Ryan though because he said a lion because all they'd have to do is sleep 19 hours a day they only wake up to eat and have sex. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. That's right. <laughs> so, so this is something you do, Sierra, when you go get a haircut because you don't want to have bad breath for the nice person that's cutting your hair. That's a life lesson. Let me see that shirt, Andy. I want to That's do it, classic. Like, yeah, I want to do it. Okay. Oh God, he's got a clipboard. That's <laughs> <laughs> detailed, man. I forgot my he, whistle. He's but... a nerd, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a clipboard. Yeah. You need some more paint. Baby Doug, what happened to your face? <laughs> Did you face plant to the sand? Yeah. Okay, let's take you for a swim, because mommy's gonna get a haircut now. Come on, baby next. Yeah. Oh, 